Carson Newman takes down Lincoln Memorial on the road with Coach Mike Mincy. I'm Michael Watching for the Eagle Sports Network. Coach, uh, down five, two minutes to go in the first half. Uh, you get four points. Seemingly felt like LMU still had a lot of momentum. But you scored uh, the first 12 out of the locker room. Why was your defense so strong over that stretch that enabled you to score that, that huge scoring run? Um, you know, I think fatigue's always going to play. I think it played in for both teams because they're pressing, we're pressing. It's an up-tempo game in the first half. It wasn't a great offensive half of basketball either way. Um, and we felt lucky to only be down one, honestly. Come out in the second half, I thought our execution on offense end was much better. Um, we were able to find a bottom of the net. I don't know how good our defense was on the other end. I know they missed a ton of shots. So I guess we get a little bit of credit to that, but they also missed some shots that maybe they were capable of making. Uh, obviously, they missed a ton of free throws as well. That would have helped their, their sake, I guess. But, you know, that third quarter, I just thought we functioned much better, both in transition in the half court. Would have put up 20. You know, they only got two. And I feel like that was in the difference. That was clearly the difference in the game because that gave us a nice little lead going in the fourth quarter. On Tuesday against Belmont Abbey, second half turnovers were an issue. Yep. Well, you had 11 in the first half. You finished with 16. Why was your team able to protect the pumpkin a little bit better in the second half today? Um, I don't know. I, I think they, 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 you've seen the pressure uh, for 20 minutes and they came out and just, just did a better job of just ball security. Because some of the turnovers that we have, even in the first half, you know, obviously teams are going to be able to guard you a little bit better because Fatigue hasn't necessarily set in as much, but um, you know, I think we just act, just made a point like we got to take care of the basketball. Um, didn't really get, and some of the turnovers we had, even out of those, whatever we had in the second half, I mean, they were unforced turnovers, and that's just growing pains that we're going through. That uh, you know, we just got to try to clean our game up uh, if we want to kind of win a bunch more games down the stretch. We talked about Sakita Joyner before the game. She has ten points in the first quarter. Four out of five shooting. Uh, I think she finished with maybe 14 or 16 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, why were you able to defend her better in the second through fourth quarters? Well, I don't know what really changed up. I mean, we had uh, – Keeley probably logged her career high minutes at 36. To, but we felt like that she was probably one of the best options we had uh, to try to guard her. She, she likes to get stuff inside. I think she hit 1-3. Uh, Mm -hmm. I think she hit in the first quarter alone. You know, they hit one three, Maney, who, who hit two threes. That was a lot of their point production. But um, I thought Keely did a good job of trying to match her physicality. She's a really strong presence and player. And uh, for as a freshman, I thought Keely did a good job on a kid that's playing her fifth year of college basketball. And, and then it didn't just take Keely, but we had to have help side and secondary defenders come over to try to just make life hard for her. And, and overall, I, I felt like they did a pretty good job. Rebounding was excellent as well. A lot of different players contributed there. Skylar Boshears with her first career double-double gets 10 of them today. Uh, these are not the time, type of games we're used to uh, seeing from you, but how much confidence does it give you as a coach right now that you're able to grind out a game where maybe you didn't play your best and, and play uh, the way that you did? You know, I'm kind of talking to them, and that is good on Skylar. Like, we need that kind of performance out of her. Um, and getting that double-double, I think she led us with, what, 10 rebounds. Um, and we need Skylar to get in there and rebound. She's a good tall guard. So, proud of how she did that. But we got up, what, 19? And then Smitty started putting her head down and driving and made some buckets, cut that thing down. And I was really curious to see how we would respond because we went over five minutes, I know, without a bucket. And uh, we got into that – how fast do you go? What shot's a good shot? Because you got such a nice lead. Um, so it's kind of nice now that we got the win that we got ourselves put in that situation and then we were able to withstand that storm that LMU brought and then go on and win, win the game by 14. Obviously we made free throws down the stretch. Uh, so on the road, LMU, always a hard place to play. Um, and at this point in time, whether we score 80 or we score 59, as long as we get a win, we're happy to, to carry one home.